I'm Dr. Emily Grossman, and this is BritLab's Cinema Science, the show where we cast a scientific eye over movie scenes to see how accurate they really are. You're watching a cop thriller, and the hard-boiled detective has just found a massive stash of white powder. He pops his finger into the mound, dabs it on his tongue, and with one knowing wrinkle of his nose, determines what the naughty culprit has, or hasn't, been snorting. But can you really tell what that unknown white powder is by a brief dab of the pinky finger and a quick taste? Or were the writers high when they came up with these scenes? Anybody want to get high? The human tongue is covered with tiny bumps called papillae, which contain the taste buds. The average person has around 10,000 taste buds, and each bud contains 50 to 100 taste receptor cells. These are tiny microscopic hairs attached to nerve endings, which respond to chemicals in the food and send messages to the brain to tell us how something tastes. There are five types of receptors responsible for tasting sweet, sour, salty, bitter, and umami, a savory flavor. But it's a myth that each type is confined to a particular area of the tongue. The greatest density of taste receptors is on the tip of the tongue, so that area is particularly sensitive to taste. So, are we able to use the tip of this amazing tasting organ to test for drugs? The simple answer is no. Firstly, it really isn't a very good idea to go around sticking unknown white powders into your mouth. That's how people die. Secondly, while some people do reckon that certain drugs, such as cocaine, ketamine or MDMA, have a distinctive taste, most are just plain bitter. So it would be rather tricky to rely on taste to tell them apart. And even if it is a drug, Hello? Drugs are illegal. Not a great idea for a policeman to commit a crime, really. Game over for your career prospects. And not only do they make you high, not ideal if you're trying to carry out your job, they can also stay in your system for years to come. An all-round no-no, really. So what actually happens? Well, real detectives routinely use Home Office-approved drug testing kits at the scene of a crime to test for heroin, morphine, cocaine and amphetamines. In one common type of test, the suspected drug is placed into a small plastic pouch containing two to three glass capsules of chemicals. The capsules are broken one at a time and the pouch shaken. A simple colour test usually allows the cop to identify the drug there and then. Easy. Do any films get it right? Well, the only thing that we could find that came close is this scene from the Eddie Murphy, Robert De Niro film, Showtime. And he touches it gently on his tongue. Watch the eyebrows. Hooker knows it's cocaine. Ah. Uh, what if it's cyanide? William Shatner does do the fingertip taste test, but at least De Niro acknowledges that he could have just poisoned himself with cyanide. It gets a somewhat reluctant cinema science pass. Which movies have you seen that have detectives taste testing narcotics? Let us know in the comments below. And don't forget to hit subscribe for more great science from BritLab.